Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Merit and today I'm going to fulfill a wish from my friend Maria. Uh, when I launched this uh, YouTube channel, I asked my friends that what kind of videos they want to see and she requested a video uh, of how to make uh, makeup for a busy mom of uh, many children uh, using three products in three minutes and uh, yes, that struggle, but I, I accepted the challenge and I have here actually three different kind of options how to make uh, some kind of uh, makeup for using three products and three in three minutes. Uh, I'm not going to lie, of course, these makeups are not full makeups. They are not going to last all day. Uh, they are just something quick to make your look more refreshed and make your skin tone look more even and give a little bit of color or definition to your face or something like that. So uh, all of these are thought to be that kind of makeup you can um, touch up during the day without carrying a lot of makeup with you, maybe just one or two items. In all of these, I left out some all the lip products. So I used three products and then uh, assumed that, that you have some kind of a lipstick or lip balm or, or something, a lip gloss or something like that with you. Uh, I have three uh, examples of lip products as well, which are quite easy to use uh, if you are not using full makeup. So some kind of recommendations. I have timestamps for all these three looks so you can in the description box so and you can see there at that uh, what products I used uh, and if there is some kind of combinations you are most into you can just uh, skip to that timestamp but let's get started so and here are the three options for the quick makeup In first look, I take the foundation straight from the foundation stick and I'm not going to use it all over my face. I just um, build some coverage to the areas which I think are the most red or, or tend to be shiny. And as you can see, I have some hyperpigmentation on my skin. So I, I cover those just a bit, but I don't mind them showing through. Um, I use a little bit of foundation to my eyelashes and under eye area because I'm not using any concealer or anything like that. So depending on the skin type, um, you can choose either more matte kind of foundation stick or then you can choose the one which is more moisturizing. Uh, next product I'm using is uh, blush stick which I'm adding a little bit to my cheeks. This one is from H&M. Um, blush is something I'm very... Uh, I, I really love blushes so uh, usually that's something I wear every day. This is quite a nice peachy kind of tone and these blush sticks are nice as you can use them as well as lipstick and also why not as uh, eyeshadow if you if you don't have um, if you want that kind of look. And then the last part of this look is just a little bit of mascara, so to add some kind of uh, depth to the look. Uh, I, I would have curled my lashes because my lashes are quite straight, but as this is three products look, I wanted to keep it that way, so I didn't use those. Well, yes, that brush was the fourth one, but um, if you want to, you can curl your lashes, but this is the first look, L a little bit of color. The other look is uh, a bit different. I'm first going to use this glowy primer from Essence. Um, this is basically just a, a moisturizer with uh, a little bit of pearls and color. This is a champagne shade quite an affordable one. Uh, this look is more like healthy skin, fresh skin look, so there's not much coverage in, in this look. So I just smear it all over my face and have it that way. You can see basically everything. I just then use a little bit of uh, concealer uh, on my under eye area, on my eyelids, which uh, tend to be quite dark. A little bit on my forehead 
and my nose those areas which are mostly red so basically in this look i'm just cancelling out the redness but nothing else in my skin um, i think the redness is the if you if you can say the worst part of my face i don't mind the pigmentation but i don't like the redness it makes my skin skin look so so puffy and not taken care of um, especially during winter my nose gets quite red so that that's why i i use it all over my nose i just use my fingers so in this look i don't have anything else but just the three products and my fingers so it's all about that healthy skin and please forget my hair on the back i just noticed it last steps is a little bit of color to my eyebrows so um, i have decent brows so that's not um, a must thing for me but actually i usually prefer to use some kind of brow products as those the uh, the first part of the eyebrows are quite thick but the latter part are quite thin so i i like to add a little bit of color to my eyebrows and i think eyebrows gives kind of a frame to your face so uh it it makes your face look and a little bit of um sharpen up the whole look how would i say it i i think you know so this is the second look a little bit of glow to your face cancel out the redness and then the brows and that's that's pretty much it and then the third look uh, in this one i use powder foundation which i uh, actually don't use that much because they tend to dry out my skin this one from smashbox is quite hydrating so uh, this one i i can use if i moisturize my face well but i know at least in Finland these kind of products are quite popular because they are so easy to use and they are so easy to take with you and touch up during the day. I just smear it all over to my face. Uh, as you can see it doesn't cancel out the redness that much. It just even out the, out the skin. So this look is probably best for, for you if you have even skin tone or, or not much any kind of pigmentation or anything like that but that leaves nice matte kind of skin so if you have oily skin this is a good good way to go uh, the next step i'm using colorful eyeliner this one is from soeva uh, and it's really 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 soft so you need to be very light-handed with this one uh, i like this look uh, it, it's kind of surprising look especially with the, with the pink eyeliner so it gives you kind of unique and young and fresh look to your eyes of course you can use also black eyeliner or whatever you want but in this look the red eyeliner is the is the thing and I also like a teal colored eyeliner blue eyeliner which pops out on my eyes but as you can see it's quite easy and fast to do and this is also something you can take with you when you go if your eyes are watery then you can just add up during the day and then the last step in this look is again mascara so this is all about the eyes so as i said this look is probably the best one if you have even skin tone and and you just want a little bit of something to your eyes and and something to pop out and all this look needs now is a little bit of maybe lip gloss to make a uh, more glossy look to your face so that's the third look just a little bit of something different
here we are. This is the final look. I hope you get some kind of inspiration of these looks and please let me know what your quick makeup tips are for the people who don't have time or much products or or maybe just don't feel like using a lot of makeup. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and if you did, you're free to join the Finnish family in here subscribing and please give me a thumbs, thumbs up so I know you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great day and see you next time. Bye bye.